Hello and welcome to Warhammer Wednesday. I've got a great treat for you today. Uh, you probably see from the uh, title today I will be unboxing Nathaniel Garrow uh, from the Horus Heresy character series. Uh, I think he costs about £46, something like that. But the interesting thing about this is it's my first unboxing and experience of uh, one of these character series models. So he's in here, I'm, I'm led to believe, so let's open this up. So, let's see what you get. Uh, here we go. So this is what one of these special black boxes looks like. I'm so chuffed. Uh, I think we can just squeeze, rip, rip this open. It's uh, might not need a knife for this. Right. Okay. So let's just have a little look at this. Very stiff to open, very, very stiff. Oh, I think Perturabo would probably have some difficulty getting into this. So, here he is, 15 plus. Funny little picture of him, and then it just essentially it looks like he comes in eleven pieces. So there you go. That's a, a little bit of an instruction how to make him, and I suppose. Let's see what you get. So here we go. So this looks like the base. That's huge, isn't it? Very highly detailed. Doesn't feel slimy or greasy or anything, but um, I'm still going to wash it anyway. I don't don't really trust uh, trust it not to be. And then of course, what happens is you put your base in there, and then that kind of goes on there somehow I haven't kind of I'm assuming it's like that maybe well I'll, I'll find out in a moment won't I and then you put this large part on this base um, there we go. looks like another piece of the large base You've got his sword. As you can see, look at the wonk on that. Look at the wonk on that. So already, that's going to take a bit of um, heating to kind of put straight, because that's just terrible. Uh, I'll show you the detail on, on his face. Nice detail. There's a bubble though, you can see. Bubble just on his chin. One of the worst places to get a bubble, I would say. And then, and parts of the base, and then you've got his legs. It's a bit wonky there. The detail is uh, very nice. This is his power pack and his cloak. And his scabbard. Yeah, that's quite quite decent. And this is the. Uh, I think it's an Angelus bolt gun. That looks a bit wonky though. And I like the eagle, but that's going to need chipping out 
as you can see. So there are all the uh, the parts that you get. I'm not going to be doing like a construction guide for him or anything like that. But what I will be doing is in the next part of the video, uh, you'll see him fully constructed. He'll have been washed, he'll have been clipped, he'll have been all the mould lines removed, things like that, bubbles removed, and he'll be glued and ready to be sprayed. And I'll I'll talk about the reason why I, I bought him. And so join me for for this next part of the video. And here we have the finished model. It's absolutely stunning, uh, this model. Absolutely stunning. Just look at some of the detail you have on him. If you haven't already bought any of the Horus Heresy character series, what are you waiting for? Um, yeah, they are expensive. That's just part and parcel of it. But they are such good miniatures. They really are. Garrow has now prompted me to invest a, a, a bit more into the character series. I'm definitely going to get Horus now at some point just because he's a collector's piece and he'll just be at the front of my, my army. At the moment Garrow will be at the front of the army. I might have painted Horus by the end of this year. I might have him and painted him by the end of this year. Hopefully for the my big kind of army um, collection video that I do every year. I didn't do one in December but I'm probably going to do one towards the end of this year when all of my other models are, are finished, um, or most of my models are finished. Um, so this model, uh, Nathaniel Garrow, absolutely incredible. Such excellent detail, and like all the character series, just pops off the base there. Um, wasn't too difficult modelling-wise. I did use most of my uh, tools, um, drill, super glue, brush, scraper, files, knife, you name it. Uh, I've got his gun um, almost level with him, certainly level with his eye. Uh, I think the one on GW's website has, I don't think they've got the pose right, in my opinion, because on the GW's website it's almost like he's he's tipped off a bit and his gun is a bit too high, um, so I've made his gun as if um, there is a line of sight to an enemy and I've I've perched him on there so he doesn't look like he's about to topple over and um, which is the kind of opinion I get on on Forge World's website of the model his sword was bent as you as you saw and I've straightened that it's literally like a two second job with the hairdryer just put it on for a um, few seconds if that and then just hold it in place while it cools um, again probably takes about 10 seconds is nothing absolutely nothing to, to set that back I'll just zoom in and all the rest of it, give you some, some beautiful detail of the model. He needs to be brushed to get all the, the filing and stuff off, but apart from that, um, he's ready to be sprayed and uh, really looking forward to painting him um, in my lovely black and gold colours. So, uh, in the first part of the video I said the reasons why I purchased him. If there was one character in the Warhammer universe that would be me, or I could see myself being, it would be Garrow. I know many people would would probably say, well, I'd be a Primarch, I'd be this captain, I'd be, you know, Horus or the Emperor or something like that. For me, this this is me. So that's why um, he's going to be at the front of my army. He's essentially my Primarch, really, or the equivalent of. He'd definitely be in, in charge of my whole... Uh, chapter. There's 26 uh, at the moment, 2016, there's 26 um, characters in the character series and this is the first one that's really caught my eye. I just love the pose, love the model, um, yeah it's your typical sword and, and gun space marine but I just love the way his base kind of um, had a story to tell as well. I'm not knocking any of the other models by any means, they're all super incredible but uh, this one just just um, reached out to me um, big time and uh, I just knew I had to have him and I knew he'd fit in with my army very well. Another reason why I, I bought him was uh, because of this rule right here. Yes they actually made a rule called the Emperor Protects. Can you believe that? I certainly couldn't believe it when I read it. So for that reason, he he's just has to be um, at the front of my army. That was my 
unboxing and uh, review, I suppose, uh, of uh, Nathaniel Garrow. Such an incredible model. I can't wait to um, get him painted and show you the, the full finished um, miniature. Anyway, thanks ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Emperor Protects.